Canada's Prime Minister Stephen Harper held his final public event in Israel today, a visit to the Western Wall in Jerusalem. He was met with cheers, and one Toronto MP along for the trip was so anxious to be part of it all, he was caught on tape begging to get into the shot. The trip has been a love-in between Harper and the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. As Jacques Bourbeau reports, one contentious issue did come up today, but only behind closed doors. Jerusalem is a city full of holy sites, and Prime Minister Stephen Harper is taking a keen interest in some of them. Today, cheers erupted as he paid a visit to the Western Wall, one of Judaism's holiest sites. It was also a popular draw for his MPs and ministers. One of them, Toronto MP Mark Adler, desperate to get into the photo op, seeing a political opportunity slipping away. Jeremy, are you media good? Can you get in? No. Also on the itinerary, a visit to Israel's Holocaust Museum, Yad Vashem. Harper laying a wreath, then touring the museum filled with painful images, accompanied by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. A few hours earlier, the two leaders met for a private meeting where they discussed the peace process. And despite their close relationship, they don't agree on everything. For example, Israel's settlements on the West Bank. Canada thinks they're illegal. He won't say it publicly, but Harper confirmed he's raised the issue behind closed doors. The answer, of course, is yes, and uh, have uh, done so on many occasions. And both, as I say, leaders on both sides know uh, what Canada's view is on this. Canada has a different position from Israel. I guarantee you that's the case. The Prime Minister then criticized reporters for expecting him to publicly criticize Israel. I find it, you know, interesting, let me just make it as an observation, that, um, you know, yesterday in the Palestinian Authority, no one asked me there, no one asked me there to single out the Palestinian Authority for any criticism in terms of governance or human rights or anything else. If Harper was reluctant to talk about the settlements, Netanyahu was not. The core of the conflict is not settlements. The core of the conflict is the persistent refusal to reconcile to an independent nation state of the Jewish people. It's a conflict that has lasted decades, but Stephen Harper says after speaking to both Israeli and Palestinian leaders, he's convinced a way can be found to achieve a peace deal. Donna? Jacques Bourbeau in Jerusalem for us. Thanks.